Aloha, Scott Slim Bell coming out from Sacramento, California, July 2nd, 2016, 10.58 in the morning. Perfect day to talk about sales. Perfect day to talk about sales. And we're talking about common fears salespeople have. And one of them, one of them is a really big one, and it happens a lot. Am I good enough? Am I good enough? And for whatever reason, a salesperson goes through a process, and they might lose some sales, they might win some sales, but there's always that thing running from their head, am I good enough? And it's the lack of confidence that the buyer sees. So if there was a fuel, like if you could go to the store and be like, um, you know what, I need some fuel for my sale, right? So like for a car, they use gasoline. For the space shuttle, they use rocket fuel. For the sales process, it's confidence. It's confidence. And people can feel, like you can you can feel when somebody's confident and when somebody's not confident. You can pick up on their confidence. You can, you can gather all this information. You can hear it in their voice. You can see it in their physiology. You just got to know, am I good enough comes up a lot for salespeople. And there's a lot of times they're driving, I'm riding co-pilot with a salesperson. They, you know, am I good at sales? And I got two choices. Like if I tear this person down before a sales call, they're not going to make the sale. I'm like, hey, wait, let's talk at the end of the day. Let's talk at the end of the week. Let's, let's figure out what's going on. But it's a fear because they want to live up to expectations. There's a lot of expectations in the sales world if you work for an organization that holds your numbers. Okay. And so if you start slipping, this belief of like, am I good enough, really starts coming up. Am I really good enough to be a salesperson? Am I really good enough to be in this game? Am I really good enough? And this self-talk, like this track that's going through the head over and over and over and over and over again, can hurt you. So this is one of the reasons why you got to look at your goals. This is one of the reasons why you got to hang around with positive people. And if you got somebody negative calling you all the time, look at your phone and go, eh, -uh. this person is going to literally take money out of my bank account. Click, not doing it, not going there, okay? Am I good enough comes up a lot. Look, if you've been in the industry for a while, you're, you're probably good enough. Are you good enough to get in? Are you good enough to stick it out is a question. Are you good enough to stick it out? What's your longevity plan? What's your game plan when things go wrong? That should be the question that you're asking because things are going to go wrong. You're going to have tough days. You're going to get rejected. Jobs are going to cancel on you. People are going to complain. Are you good enough? Yeah, you are if you can stick in the game. And that's an if, okay? Now, if you could do a small favor for me, in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story. That'd be fantastic. To the right of yourself, there's a subscribe button. You know what you got to do. You got to subscribe. And then you can send it out to all your friends via stumble upon Facebook, Twitter, Google+, why not even LinkedIn. Scott Silverman Bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.